Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about qualitative and quantitative data. Often a chemist will begin with qualitative data, which is information that describes the color, odor, shape, feel, or some other physical characteristic as sensed through our five senses. Chemists also use quantitative Quantitative data. This type of data is numerical. Quantitative data deals with counts or measurements using special instruments. It tells us how little, how big, how fast, and how much. So I have some examples for qualitative and quantitative data. I will be marking our qualitative data with the red marker and our quantitative data with the blue marker. So our first example is taste of an apple. That is qualitative data. Because it is the taste of something. It's not a numerical value or anything. It is from, you know that from your senses. Our next example is mass of a brick. This is a quantitative data because it is a number. You can measure it. Our next example is speed of a car, which is also quantitative data. The length of a rod is also quantitative data because these can all be measured. Remember that. Texture of a leaf. When you're feeling a leaf, that is something from your senses, so that is qualitative data. The weight of an elephant can also be measured, so that is quantitative data. The smell of a mint cannot be measured, it's through your senses, so that is qualitative data. And volume of water is our last one, and it can be measured, so it is classified as quantitative data. Join us next for percent error calculations.